Thank you. Uh, you know what I'd like to know, Lorna, to begin with? What's it like to go into a show, well-established, seventh year, everybody has its friendships settled, and there, a newcomer, Lorna Luft, walks right in? Well, uh, the first day, it was like the first day of school. You know, that feeling where you sort of stood outside the door and you didn't really want to go in there? And once I walked onto the set, my first day, it was wonderful. Tim Busfield and Brian Mitchell were the first actors I worked with, and they made me feel so at home, and, and it, was, it was great. And from that day on, it was fine. The feeling you have to prove, I've got to prove myself. I've I got to justify my being here, that sort of feeling? Or no. Not at all? No, I thought I just have to do my job. And you've done it. Yes. <laughs> Greg Harrison yes. is gonzo. He's gonzo. Yeah, gonzo. It, he's, go, he's going from, he's leaving the series. He's yeah. gone from the series. Yeah. What does that do to the rest of the players now? Do you nervous, get nervous? Do you watch the numbers? Um, well, it's funny because I worked with Gregory the last seven shows that he, he did with us. And uh, it, was, it, it was very sad when we shot the last show with him. Um, more sad for the others because they'd worked with him for seven years and I only got seven shows with him. But he's a very nice guy. He has gone on to become a new father. I mean, Randy hasn't had the baby yet. She might have. Um, and, you know, he's going to be a new father. His production company is doing real well and we just wished him the best of luck. It, but, but it must be very exciting to be on this program. It's oh, a, it's yeah. a, and, and in March, you find out whether you're renewed, but you will be renewed. You don't worry about you that. Sure. You do worry? Knock, we should, we'll knock on. <laughs> I'm knocking on things. <laughs> knock on, on plastic. <laughs> yes. Lorna, we, I, I, I know that you're asked this all the time, but, but people like to hear a little bit about it. People know that you are the daughter of Judy Garland and Sid Luft. You are the half-sister of Liza Minnelli. Give us a little recollection of being the daughter of Judy Garland. A memory. I asked you before. Any memory come back to mind? As you, there you are, as a little baby. I'm looking at you right now. Look at that little baby with the beloved Judy Garland. What, uh, what memories come back to you? Well, there's so many. I just remember that I had a very happy childhood. Uh, we traveled a lot, and uh, we. Uh, I had a very happy childhood, and uh, as a matter of fact, um, Boston is kind of special because my mother performed here to the largest audience that she'd ever performed to uh, on August 31st, 1967 on the Commons. She performed for 108,000 people. Unbelievable. You were, you were a child in school in New York, you said. Yes, I wasn't here. But I do remember that phone call. What, what, did, what did she say after that phone call? You're not going to believe how many people showed up. <laughs> Talk a little bit about Liza Minnelli, a half-sister. Ever been competition? The two of you are great performers. The two of you are singers. Has there ever been a kind of a me first, then you first, then me first kind no. of feeling? No, because there's an age difference. And Liza started out seven years before I did. Uh, so we've never gone up for the same parts. We've never gone in on the same roles or anything like that. So there's never been any competition. We, we don't go in for the same parts now. So it's just been, you know, her career and then, and then mine. And we were real supportive of each other. Terrific. Now there's another person in your life. It's a guy by the name of Jake Hooker. Yes. Jake Hooker Richards. Yes. Jake Hooker. Jake Hooker is your husband. Yes. That's the sound like Ralph Edwards and this is your life. <laughs> people people may not may know his music from Rocky IV. Yes. Uh, and there's a and there's a little bit of a son. There's a little 19 month old uh, character in your life, Lorna. Yeah, Lorna. He's, and, uh, and do your eyes light up? <laughs> Tell us about Jesse and Jake. Oh, Jesse and Jake, my two guys. Um, there, there's there Jesse. He is. Look at that. Look at that. That's him at 19 months. Um, looks, looks like mom. <laughs> everybody thinks he looks like dad. Um, he's he's everything. He's the, the reason now that I I now know why every day I get up and everything is because both of them. Uh, I feel whole finally. Uh, he's they're both my husband's very supportive and very you know, helpful to me. Um, but now with a, with a baby, nothing seems that desperate as it used to. I mean, before Trapper, if I went in on, 
on an audition and I didn't get it. Had to be, had to be. Or? Yeah, if I didn't get it, I'd come home and that little boy saying, Mommy, it was, who cares about that dumb audition? This is what's important, this little person. He centers you in a way. Yeah, sure. You told me a cute story. Because Jake's last name was Hooker, he had to add a middle name to tell that because if it had been a baby girl with the last name of Hooker, you were a little concerned. Yeah, we were when when I got pregnant and, and uh, we didn't want a little girl with the last name of, of Hooker because it's <laughs> tough enough growing up anyway. And I just think it's sort of not fair. So we just took Jake's middle name, Richard, and put it at the end. And there you are. There you are. No big deal. <laughs> Lorna, does it ever bother you? Because I, I don't know that people fully know how Lorna Luft has paid her dues in show business. You've done the one-nighters. You've done everything you had to do to claw your way up. But does ever, do you ever get a feeling that people might resent, oh, sure, Lorna Luft gets those parts. After all, her mother was Judy Garland. Her sister's Liza Minnelli. She just, just says, I can do it and I'll do it. You paid the dues, haven't you, kid? Uh, yeah, and I still am paying them. I don't think you ever are finished paying your dues. It, it, it wasn't easy, uh, but I work just as hard as everyone else who's in this industry. You have to. If you don't study and you don't learn your craft, if you, like I go to three classes a week. Even doing Trapper John? Yeah. You still go take classes? Oh, sure. There's someone behind me maybe taking a fourth class. Um. So you have to be very, very aware about being on top of your craft and how important it is. But are there people who still believe you've gotten there simply by dint of who you came from? Or do they see that you just were I don't it? know. I haven't met any <laughs> lately. Uh, I, uh, I'm sure there are, but that's their view. And, you know, and that's... the heck with that. Yeah, I guess. Lorna, <laughs> just before we close, what's in the future for you? Trapper John looks rock solid. Yeah. Lorna Luft's also a singer. What would you like to do? What you got cooking and what would you like to do? I'm doing what I wanted to do. I mean, I went to California and I really wanted a series. And I wanted, quote, the perfect series for me. And somebody heard me and I got the perfect series. Um, I, 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 I love to sing and it's always there. Uh, right now, I hope Trapper goes on for another seven years. Um, I'm sure Pernell Roberts, if he heard that, would go like that. Uh, I, I'm very, very happy right now.